Okay, so I'm not going to do a uh, unboxing video because frankly, um, everybody else is done once, so there's really no point in it. But I got the new uh, Gillette Heritage razor. I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. So I haven't shaved in like a week. So we'll see how uh, how well this actually works. Um, before I get into that though, I'll, I'll put a little bit of a, a little bit of old new Nile in the new hair. to kind of just, you know, get it out of the way. So, uh, yeah, I heard about this razor, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. I mean, I had absolutely no idea that it even came out. So I was like, well, that's kind of cool because um, all along I've been bouncing back and forth between a Gillette Fusion and this uh, Vanderhagen um, uh, safety razor, which I like the, uh, the butterfly open. Well, I can't open it now, I've got grease all over my hands. But um, I like the butterfly open on that. I'd much prefer to have a butterfly open than the way the Gillette razor is because chances are high. I'm probably going to end up slicing my finger off on this, um, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I've been um, going back and forth between a Fusion, the Vanderhagen, and um, the, on most days, the Fusion actually ends up working out better. So I'm really curious to see if, um, if Gillette can uh, deliver a better product, we'll see. So the uh, brush that we're using is um, the uh, Green Ray by Phoenix Artisan and uh, synthetic brush. Uh, I've been using it for a while. It's not bad. I enjoy it. Um, a little bit of water. The soap that I'm using today is the Absolute Last, last Dregs uh, Rustic Shaving Soap Tobacco. Um, this is a fantastic, just fantastic scent. Probably one of my favorite scents. Um, so the absolute last dregs. I already scraped this off into a um, Old Spice mug. So, okay, yeah, uh, change camera angles. Apparently the um, camera doesn't want to stay up there. No, well. So anyway, um, I'll add a little bit of water in here, not much, um, and a little bit of water to the brush. Uh, so right on up. Um, do a little face ladder here. I just really, really love this scent. Um, nobody else can quite deliver this particular scent. Got Uncle John's. Um, his soap is decent, but the scent just wasn't the same scent. Um, got uh, some from this other company I can't remember. And it was okay, but it just wasn't, I don't know. Um, okay, that's probably okay. So uh, the blade we're using is a Voskhod blade. Um, so I'm kind of stoked about that, not using the Gillette. So here we go, let's go with the, uh, the first pass. It's definitely a different angle than what the uh, uh, Hagen, I was about to say Hagen does. Then, yeah, that'll be a good name. It's, be it's definitely a better angle than the Hagen Doss one. Just trying to find the angle. Mm, there it is. Yes, it's uh, the roundness. I'm not used to that. The the roundness on the head. Um, so it's it's kind of just trying to figure out where the angle is because it's just kind of slipping by. There we go. Okay. Uh, throw. Okay, uh, I guess that's the first pass. Um, I mean, there, there's still some stuff left behind because I'm still trying to figure out this angle. Man. And there's all kinds of facial hair in the, in the sink. Okay, whatever. I can go ahead and do a, a second pass. Yeah, you can tell I'm pretty much out of practice on these. I haven't done a shave video in probably a year. Yeah, probably a year. So it's, it's been a while. 
And frankly, I can't even think of anything to even talk about any, any topics worth uh, discussing right now. Um, well, I guess uh, I have been having fun with my uh, Sony NWA55 Walkman media player. Uh, basically getting it right where it needs to be. It's been about a two week long process or week and a half long process trying to, to get it down to you know, getting everything accurately tagged and, and all that. And I'm definitely not practicing proper shave technique. But uh, yeah, so um, basically just going through and making sure all the artwork is correct, making sure all the MP3 tags are correct, making sure all the um, albums are correctly listed by genre because that's how I navigate my players is uh by genre and that way i can put various artists together compilations together and that kind of thing and it doesn't uh, get in the middle of the mix of everything else uh one thing i will say is it seems like the um what do they call it the the knurling knurling or whatever you want to call it on here could be a little bit more well defined Okay. Hmm. Well, there's a second pass so far, so good. Let's go against the green. Now, for the uh, the first, um, I guess, several days of having that uh, Sony player, I had a Bluetooth on because I was using Bluetooth with my receiver. And uh, apparently, having the Bluetooth just simply on drains the battery like a summer gun because I was having to. to um, charge a battery about uh, once every other day and so I turned the Bluetooth off and I just been using 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and it seems like that has helped things tremendously yeah I tell you what the uh, the angle on this is really um, kind of difficult for me to find Because with the um, the Hagen Doss, um, the angle is it's basically um, you're doing it like that. But if you look um, here, you see it's not as rounded um, as uh, as the other one. It's it's much more I don't know whatever uh, flat. Whereas this is much more rounded. Um, so it's just kind of weird trying to find that angle. Okay, tough for the throat. The against the grain throat always is a blood mess with these DEs. So far, so good. Okay, gotta wet my hand down so I can feel it. Oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of spots I missed. And, well, I guess I'll go for a uh, fourth pass. Yeah, this is where they say, don't be greedy. Don't don't be too greedy. But I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to go for it. Mm, okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Um, still a few spots, but you know what? I'm just going to leave it alone because uh, I'm still trying to get used to how this thing works. Um, it definitely feels a heck of a lot better than um, the Vanderhagen. Okay, let's go ahead and wash some of this off. Um, overall, uh, not that bad as far as in the blood department. Um, and there, there's a couple of spots, but um, not nearly as bad as what I'm used to. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of weird because I can get a Gillette Fusion and I can hack and slash away and, and there's like absolutely nothing. Um, and then I get uh, a DE and it looks like Freddy Krueger came in here. Oh, well, we'll just call that a day um, as far as uh, with this shave goes. Uh, for the most part, I'm pretty pleased. Um, again, like usually right here in this area, it would just be 
again, like Freddy Krueger got a hold of me. So um, the Gillette actually did a lot better than um, this piece of crap Vanderhagen thing did. So that's good. Um, that's a plus. Yeah, I, I did get got right there, but whatever, hell go away. So uh, what aftershave should we use? Let's go with the, this stuff. That'll be fun. So, uh, in conclusion, uh, I would highly recommend everybody check this stuff out. Um, again, it's probably my favorite scent. Um, it's just absolutely wonderful. And uh, also, the uh, the Gillette Heritage did not do too bad. Um, it'll probably take some more practice to get the ankle down right, to get a, a faultless shave, because I can still feel some stubble down here in my throat and on my jawline. Um, cheeks are fairly good, though, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, all there is to say. Um, I don't have much else to say, so uh, thanks for watching and peace out.